now, earlier this week, I travelled to the National Ploughing Championships in Scregan in County Offaly and I popped along to the Clonakilty tent to chat to the one, the only, Joe Shannon. Let's see what delicious dish he cooked up. Now we are at the Clonakilty stand here at the National Ploughing Championships and look who I bumped into. A man you might know, don't you? Hello, Hello. 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 <laughs> Very happy to see you here. And what better place could I be but at the Clonic Kilty stand here at the Ploughing Championships 2017 and absolutely fantastic. You love the Ploughing Championships, I absolutely don't you? do. The what welcome do you know is unreal. I just love everything about it. I love the fact that you come down to it and I get to meet <laughs> you. And, uh, <laughs> and I get to eat this wonderful pudding, that, which uh, is unreal. And I have a very, very simple little dish for you, okay. right? Just to show you, because there's one thing about pudding is, I don't know about you, but when you sort of think about pudding, black pudding, white pudding, whatever the case is, I suppose you're thinking about breakfast all the time, aren't you? Yeah, but I also would use a lot of dinner. Yeah. Black pudding and scallops is really oh, nice. Oh, well, of course Lots you'd of have nice scallops. <laughs> 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 but there is so much you can do with it, and they have a fantastic uh, website. If you go into their social media website, Facebook, Twitter, you get all the different recipes on it, which is okay. great. So just so to start... So black pudding is not just for breakfast. That's no. the message. That's the, the message. Beauty, and the beauty here is that not alone do they have your regular black pudding, they'd also do a gluten-free one. So if you, if you have a, you know, if you have an intolerance Actually, to gluten... Actually, my mum gets the gluten-free yeah, one. Which yeah, is, yeah. And, the, and the funny, there is very little difference in flavour. Yeah. It's absolutely Actually, fantastic. Actually, there isn't, yeah. All right. So here I have some black pudding meat. So this meat. is just your normal black pudding? Normal you've black just pudding, it up. Kind of black pudding, make, mix it up okay. in a bowl, right? Very simple. But there are lots of people watching on here, Joe. Do you I know. black pudding, lads? Does everybody like Yay! black pudding? Yay! They love a bit of black pudding. <laughs> do you only have it at breakfast, though? Would you have dinner? Would you have it at dinner? Would you cook later with it? Oh, one oh, yes. Oh, yes, we have a yes. See, we're, we're yeah, teaching we're the masses. Going, we're we're going. teaching the masses. So some lovely apple in there. Okay. This is a nice red eating apple. So just chop it up. Chop it up. Me. I'm not even okay. bothered to peel it. It's just so, so simple. Okay. Right, our apple goes in there. Then I'm I can manage them. this, Joe, yeah. Oh, sage. I love a bit oh, of sage. Oh, yeah, isn't sage beautiful, oh. isn't it? Just really smell, gorgeous. Smell of sage. And it I goes so well with it pork. Oh, it does. It really, really does. Okay. So we're going to put a bit of chopped sage in there. All right. Quite well, roughly chopping it up. Just roughly yeah, chop it up. Yeah. You don't have to be too so precise you don't need about to have this. Chef skills. Not at all. Okay. I don't have any, so you're as well. Uh, That's you know. a lie. <laughs> you're a very skilled man. No, okay. we're going to give that a little mix. Okay. Right. Get in there with your gloves on. Nice little mix. So all right. You don't need to add any fat because the fat's no. in the in the black pudding. And you yeah. don't. And what else am I not adding? I'm not adding any salt or pepper. Because that's all in there. It's all there. Job it's done. so so Job simple. Okay. It really is. I'm taking a basic chicken fillet. Okay. Right. And here's the little trick. I'm going to make a little sort of pocket along here. I always find that a bit tricky. I always yeah. puncture it. There you, you go. Nice little, see, a little okay. pocket. And you don't need a huge amount of this pudding in there. Okay. Just because what happens amount. is the pudding expands, you see. As it as cooks. It cooks. I yeah. Didn't know yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So that goes in there. And of course, Conor Kilty, they don't just do puddings, they do beautiful sausages and I've rashers. I've just been hearing about black pudding sausages. Oh. They are amazing. I'm going, we're going to have some later. I'm going to have some. Okay. They're, they've only been doing about four months uh, out on the market and they are fantastic. So we wrap that with our bacon. A little bit of a grease tray here. So right. you didn't, so can I just go back to the chicken yes, You didn't need to put any skewers in it or any co Nothing. cocktail sticks, just the bacon around. I'm into simplicity. I know you are, my darling. Uh, which, is why, you, <laughs> which is why we love you, Joe. That goes on our tray there. Now okay. I'm just going to get rid of our gloves and do a little clean down. And you just and gave that a little ready. bit of a spritz with just the, a little uh, with bit the oil. oil. Yeah, okay. whatever oil you want to use. Because I suppose you've got the bacon, you've got the black pudding, you've Absolutely. got a lot of fat going on in there. We have all there. It's all there. So that goes into an oven, Sinead. Now you're talking around 170, 180. Okay. You want to give it about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the size of the fillet that you use. Okay, so the bigger the fillet, the longer yes, you need to cook it. Yes, and the important thing is, it's chicken, so you need to cook it fully through. So okay. we're talking about a core temperature, if you want those little probe thermometers, of 75 degrees. I wonder, do people at home use those thermometers? They don't, but yeah. just, just be sure that it's fully cooked. I always cooked. just do the, the cut and open and have a check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine's have just, I'll open the okay. oven here, because you okay. get a bit open of a blast the oven, there. Yeah, yeah, I get yeah. a bit of the blast of the heat. Yeah. And I have one, oh my, oh, look, there, there we, we go. go. Oh, look at that. There we go. And I'm just going to get a nice little, oh, yes. You don't get to eat any, though. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see what it looks like. Okay. So, we have our beautiful, now you see it, with the lovely rasher on it. Oh, nice, Jim. Look at this. And you so get that beautiful colour. Look at that oh, colour. Look, look at that lovely colour and texture. See, now, for you to do fancy chef things, that'll look lovely on the plate as well. Well, you see, I thought, because we're at the ploughing championships, we'll go al fresco, and like maybe it. we might get some people to try and see what they think. Actually, that's a good idea. Are you up for having a bit, guys? Yes. Yeah. They're actually all starving. Look at all them. Right, well, They're waiting for the food. I'll put this piece okay. over here. And I we have a lovely board. 
And I have some beautiful salad here. There's a little tip. Always put wet kitchen paper on top of your salad. It keeps I know, the ages. Yeah. Why do you put the wet kitchen paper on top of the salad? It keeps your salad lovely and fresh. Oh, there we go. There and, you go. And catering change it every day, boys and, and you'll have you'll have a longer a bit. We'll maybe another bit of apple, will we? Yeah, just for a little. See, you can't help yourself. I know. A little it's bit just, of garnish. I just, just whack that on and Just another little bit of apple, and we'll just present that just lovely around there. Look at that. That looks really. Look at the. I just think the colour of the pudding is just. You know what? Easy thing to make at home as well. If you're having a dinner party, having friends round. Even for the kids, Even you know, you kids. can prepare it in advance, have it ready. Because it's full it's full of healthy Absolutely. stuff, pudding. So you have your bit of pudding in the fridge, you can use a bit for breakfast, you can have a bit for the evening time, you can have a bit for one. Okay, well, proof is in the pudding, as Absolutely. they say. Absolutely. So have a taste, ladies and gents. Are you coming up here, my dear? Have a little taste and okay, tell me what you think. Don't be shy, don't be shy. He's not there being shy, go. straight in. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Give, give us a thumbs up, guys. I mean, thumbs up, Good. thumbs down. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs straight up, away. Thumbs up. thumbs up, straight away. There we go. You're gonna have some, my dear. Joe, you better cut up, cook up the other ones. Gonna uh, have, we're, we're gonna, gonna have cut an them all. Really <laughs> <laughs> Are you loving that, guys? Yay! Yeah. 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 Good Fantastic. to hear. Good to hear. Joe, thank you very much, as and always. And thank you for seeing you down here again. It's absolutely brilliant. A pleasure brilliant. to see you here. Yeah. Out in the wild, out in the open, Joe. That's and how I go, like you. And we're going to go in the back and try those back pudding sausages. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Go in the back now. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>